Hi, we're going to talk about the auto ionization of water, another amazing thing that water does. Um, so there was Frederick Kohlrausch, uh, he, I believe he was German. Um, he made it a goal to make the purest water possible, uh, water that wouldn't conduct, had no ions in it. Um, took a long process, several years, and he still had conductive water. Um, and this is what he discovered. He discovered that water reacts with itself. That's where the word auto comes from. Auto meaning self ionized becomes an ion. Um, so water will react with water to produce hydronium and hydroxide. Pretty amazing. Now let's go ahead, notice it's in equilibrium and write our equilibrium expression. So we're going to have products of our reactants. It will be the hydronium ion times the hydroxide ion divided by our reactants, but the reactants are all liquids. And you'll recall that we only use gas and aqueous when we're writing our equilibrium expression. Well, this right here at um, 25 degrees C, of course, is a constant. And this constant is hugely significant. It is the basis for how we study pH. K, because this is so special, for water gets its own subscript, KW. It's the equilibrium expression for this auto ionization, the self ionization of water at 25 degrees C. And the value for this is always one times 10 to the minus 14. Ooh, check out that 14. Our pH scale is from one to 14. Um, so this right here, really important to know um, that this is the foundation for our pH. Now this, you'll be able to use this formula um, that you know KW always will be one times 10 to the minus 14, um, which means one times 10 to the minus 14 equals hydronium times hydroxide. You will be able to use that formula when you are doing pH calculations, okay? Um, for more pH calculations, look on Lean Think under the acid base playlist and you'll get, there's actually five more calculations to help you. This is so important, I had to do it, its own video for the beauty of water's auto ionization. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.